Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you some exciting changes coming to Mistweaver in 10.1.7. We got new talents. We got a new rework on Manatee. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. I will quickly go over all the changes that are happening so far that have been announced to Mistweaver. So first of all, we got a new talent, Energizing Brew. That makes it so the new Manatee channel is 50% faster and generates 20% more mana. We got a new Manatee rework that I'm going to go through, but pretty much every time you spend 25,000 mana, you get a stack of Manatee, and you can actually, there's a chance with, depending on your crit, that you can get more stacks, which is amazing, and then each stack of Manatee restores 3,000 mana. Life Cycles has also been redesigned, so they've actually incorporated Rising Sun Kick with it, which is really cool, so keep that in mind. I'll show you how it works after we go through the changes. Mash Your Mist is now baseline effect for Renewing Mist, so that is the double mastery, so now you're going to have, or not mastery, double Renewing Mist, so by default, that talent has been removed, and we're just going to have two charges of Renewing Mist. You don't need to spec into it anymore. Uh, Invigorating Mist has now been moved to Mastery of Mist Previous Location, which is just right here. That's the Vivify Cleave Heal. The Manatee has been moved to Invigorating uh, Mist Previous Location, and Spear of the Crane has been removed. So that is the mana restored from your Teaching to the Monastery Blackout Kicks. That's been, that is removed. That is no, no more. We've kind of slimmed down the talent tree a little bit, and uh, I'm not mad about any of those changes. All right, so let's talk about the new Manatee. So for every 25,000 mana you spend, you get one stack of Manatee, and you have an equal chance to get more, an extra stack, depending on your Critical Strike. So if you have more crit, you're going to get more stacks. In PvP, we don't really stack crit. Maybe we will now. I doubt we will. But in PvE, I know that there's a good chance that we'll probably be stacking crit. And then what Manatee does is you consume one stack of Manatee every 0.5 seconds to restore 3,000 mana and reduces the mana cost of your spells by 50% for each stack that you have. So one second for each stack. So if you consume five stacks, you get five seconds of 50% reduced mana on your spells, which is absolutely freaking insane. It can be cast while moving, but movement speed is reduced by 40% while channeling. All right, so I have five stacks of Manatee right now. This is what Manatee looks like. Again, you spend mana, you get a stack. I spent 25,000 mana per stack. And this is what it looks like. So we press Manatee. You're going to take a look. I'm going to have a manatee buff up here for 50% reduced mana cost on spells. And then I'm also going to restore mana back. So I'm going to channel it. I can move. My stacks are going to go away. And then I get a buff. So I get five seconds of mana cost of spells reduced by 50%, which is really, really good. I like that a lot. Uh, this is, if anyone played Mistweaver water before you know this is what manatee used to be which is really nice life cycles has also been reworked where what happens is your vivify has a 25 percent chance to cause your next rising sun kick or envelop mist to generate one stack of manatee and your enveloping mist and rising sun kick have a 25 percent chance to cause your next vivify to generate one stack of manatee now i was very confused i was very confused about this talent at first but it makes perfect sense i think it's still a little bit weird it says 25 percent chance to cause your next oh it has a tw no it's guaranteed so oh i understand i un i understand the talent now i understand the talent now okay on live it is a guaranteed you get a if i use enveloping mist i get a buff right i get a buff but what this talent is saying is when i use enveloping mist there's a 25 percent chance that i'm gonna get the buff and now my vivify should give me a stack i'm actually at 20 stacks right now so that's how that but so that's what that means and then my vivify has a chance. So I didn't get a buff that time with my Vivify because it, it, it's not guaranteed. If that makes, I'm hoping that makes sense. There's a 25% chance to get the buff is what that's saying. And in my opinion, I really like that that, that a lot. That's a guaranteed. So that means if I use Vivify here, maybe there's a chance I didn't. I, so now I got the buff. Now that, And now my Rising Sun Kick or Envelope. So Rising Sun Kick, they've included Rising Sun Kick in with Life Cycles. That's freaking insane. Wow. And then also something to note there is your stacks will reset or not not the stacks your the time you have a two minute buff your buff time resets every time you get a stack which is great and then i can just use my manatee and you can see the channel is like pretty slow i'm using five six seven eight nine i'm gonna use a spell to cancel it boom i get a 10 second buff with manatee that reduces my spells by 50 percent. and then there was a second talent which is called energizing brew so what this does is manatee now channels 50 percent faster and generates 20 percent more mana so right now it's, it, it does take a little bit of the channel. Maybe on like boss fights where there's a lot of movement, you won't, you're probably going to want to take this talent. I don't know when PvP what we're going to be taking. I'm probably going to go more towards life cycles just because 
in arena, I can go for drinks, right? Like, even though I'm gonna have this talent, I can still go for drinks. So just to do the math, 20% more mana means that, let's see, 3,600 mana per stack. So that's 7,200 mana extra per stack. So that means instead of 3,600 mana, you're gonna be getting 4,300 mana per stack, which is 20% more mana, which is pretty good. And I feel like it's really hard to like generate stacks. I don't know, you're gonna have to really be spamming Enveloping Mist. <laughs> <laughs> to get a ton of stacks uh but this is what it looks like so it channels 50 percent faster and restores 20 percent more mana which means we should be channeling 0.25 seconds per stack so we're just going to channel right here oh yeah look at that and then we can cancel it and we can still get three stacks and we get a buff for each st stack that we got wow that's really really good so then we can just keep channeling we just keep channeling using mana and then we use our mana t can i use a spell I don't know if I can. I think the spell cancels. So you can hit escape to channel to cancel the channel. You can also hit, uh, expel harm to cancel the channel. Wow. Wow. So this is the first time I'm, I've really been playing around with this. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm more than happy. I'm just messing around. So I would definitely say I'm leaning towards. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to say I'm leaning towards life cycles more than the invigorating brew or energizing brew just because you can get stacks way f like obviously you know if you're not if you, you want to be casting right you want to be a cast miss weaver I feel like you if you get lucky obviously you have to get lucky but you know just rising sun kick just to get a stack and then you can just keep going you can use a spell you can escape boom cancel it yeah wow no, I'm, I'm liking um, life cycles a lot more than invigorating brew or energy. I keep saying invigorating brew, energizing brew. I know someone's going to be out there doing the math for sure on like min maxing it. But I would say in general, I kind of like life cycles in arena a lot more just because we have chances to go for drinks, you know. And so you, you could keep your stacks and then also go for a drink if you need it. And then in, I, I think the same case is for raiding too or mythic plus. I mean, if you don't have time, if you think you don't have time to to like get drinks or stuff like that you could definitely go for energizing brew just because you know channels faster you get more mana but i feel like if you ever have the chance to go for i think for raiding you probably want energizing brew but i feel like if you ever have a chance to get a drink or if you have some downtime between poles or an arena game and you're able to get a drink your life cycles is just you get way more value out of it i mean i can get so many stacks right now oh that's crazy that's so good and then on top of the stacks from from the life cycles, you all, you're also getting stacks from spending mana. So this, my next Vivify, boom, is instant, bam. And then th this also works with with uh, Thunder Focus T, right? Vivify costs no mana. And I just get the I can just get the buff for no mana, which I think is really neat too. I'd say overall, this rework is really freaking insane. I am a huge fan of this rework. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any, any questions. This is on PTR, so anyone can test this. Just let me know, and I'm more than happy to test anything you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.